you command, you know, if, if it's cancer, cancer, I command you to die. Humor, I command you to shrink. Uh, respiratory illness, I command you to subside. I command new cells to be forged. You know, like we command the body. We speak to the illness. We speak to the body, okay? So I want you to do those two things. Find the reason and pray and command the sickness for the person's body, okay? Or their soul, even. Let's do that. Uh, you can mute or unmute as you see fit. I won't prescribe. Ask him to reveal the reason behind the sickness that you are targeting. Disease, I command you to leave. Command you to leave that person's body. Speak to you, disease. Can I thrive there? I speak death over you, disease. Speak death over you, infection. I speak death over you, cells that are contaminating. I speak against you. In the name of Jesus, and I command you to leave this person's body. I speak the immune system to generate new white cells in the name of Jesus. New white cells be multiplied, the multiplied white cells in the name of Jesus. Circulation starts flowing in the name of Jesus. Circulation starts flowing in the name of Jesus. Blood circulation starts flowing. Unleashed and unlocked in the name of Jesus. Move forward and accept the destiny of God as a calling of God that He has put upon your life. The calling and the destiny of sweet, run away from you because God's glory is so your time is running out. I find any further progression. I find further progression and I command a regression. I command a moving out. I command that you are one of the Right. We're going to pray now. We're going to pray and we're going to speak into the spiritual atmosphere of your life. Speak into the spiritual atmosphere in your homes, in your workplaces, even the nation of Singapore. We're going to speak into the spiritual atmosphere and we're going to de demobilize the spirits of fear and death. Okay? They will no longer have the upper hand in this nation of Singapore, in your life, in your loved one's lives, because it has spread so thickly over this nation, okay? So I just want you to proclaim, and you can unmute your mics for this. This is not intercessory prayer, but we're going to proclaim and shout into the atmosphere, where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your, or is your sting? We're going to shout, you know, that uh, death, you have, been swallowed, you have been swallowed up by victory. Death, you are swallowed up by victory. And we're going to proclaim other scriptures or anything that comes, you know, forth from your spirit that lives in you. Okay, we're just going to declare victory over death and we're going to break the atmosphere of death over people's lives. Okay, let's go. Shitia, where of death is your victory? We demobilize your death. Spirits of fear and death, we bind you. 
will no longer fire out their atmospheres. You will no longer be allowed entry into our homes. We ban you from entering into the lives and the hearts and minds of believers. You leave the sheep alone. You leave the sons and daughters of God. You leave them in the name of Jesus. Every line of deception that leads to fear be gone, be broken in the name of Jesus. The lies come of the enemy be ceased in the name of Jesus. We release also God clear vision of the yes, reality yes, of yes, heaven yes. and eternity, oh God. Yes, we are spirit yes. beings, God. We yes. are going to live forever, God. Yes, Lord. Eternity is our home, oh God. Yes, amen. Defying, undefeated, Lord, reality yes, Lord. of the Christians. Yes. And therefore we break, we break the fear yes. and that is pervasive. Oh, we break it in the name of, of our society, Jesus. even yes, our Lord. church yes. congregation, every fear, yes. every death. Everyone, everyone. No yes. longer any power against us yes. or over us. We have the victory in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And we yes. praise God. Yes. Praise God. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We praise you, You, oh, we praise you, God. Yes. you we have praise the upper God. hand, oh God. Yes. Yes. And you accept yes. your people, yes. oh God. Yes. Praise yes. Jesus, God Jesus. for the works yes. of eternal life. Yes, yes. hallelujah. Eternal life flow Yes, Lord. It's you, the nation. Praise you, God. Recording I have progress. felt the fire of God. I have felt the heat. I'm sweating. I'm not a sweaty person. My husband is, but I'm sweating. <laughs> I need to turn on the AC. So praise God. You know, let's give him a clap offering, all of us where we are. He has broken the power over every sickness, disease, fear, and death. Amen. So with this, I'll conclude my session and hand it over to our wonderful, wonderful minister guest, Sister Shirlene. I'm so sorry I ran over time. I had too much eagerness, but I shall hand it over to you. Thank you. Hi, good morning. Uh, I'm actually very honored uh, to be invited uh, to be one of the uh, speaker or trainer, whatever you say, um, in this uh, prayer workshop. Actually, um, my session that I felt the Lord wants me to do is basically to share my journey in prayer and uh, to share the many testimonies of how God moved uh, when we pray. And uh, I'm really excited at what God is doing. And I was just thinking, you know, when Betsy told me how many people signed up, I said, wow. If everybody put in place, you know, what has been taught, can you imagine there's going to be an explosion in Region 5-6? You know, if every one of the intercessor would do that, you know, and we will see God's spirit moving left, right, center, back, and you'll have people testifying of healing, testifying, you know, God uh, uh, ministered to them, God spoke to them, you know, uh, there will be a uh, lot gifts of healing, gifts of uh, miracles, gifts of discernment, and word of knowledge will will definitely be flowing out on a daily basis. I I, I really believe that, and uh, thank you uh, for having me. So um, I am basically will be sharing uh, my journey, and uh, I thank God uh, 
before I start, I want to thank my husband for helping me with the notes because I have all the thoughts in my head, but I need to condense it. My, my thoughts were running all over the place. And I, and I thank God that he helped me uh, uh, to organize the, my thoughts in simple terms. All right, uh, to start off, uh, I want to share, you know, Jesus has a very classic examples uh, he shares about how to pray when his disciple asked him. And it is actually found in the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 13. He says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts and we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Of course, before we actually pray, we have to qualify ourselves that, you know, we need to worship the Lord. You know, we need to uh, exalt him for who he is in his kingdom. And uh, I will skip the, your kingdom come. I'm going to like give us our daily bread, you know, which is normally what we ask. You know, Lord, I need this, I need that. Father, is it possible? I know there are many times that I've prayed for my needs. I said, God, is it possible for this to happen? Within a, a week or two, you know, it, it actually happened. And, I, you know, and then we, we have that forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And this is a very important uh, aspect of our life of forgiveness. If you don't forgive, God comes to give us, you know. And forgiveness blocks us, you know, uh, uh, from entering, okay, into the Holy of Holies. All right, our sin, because unforgiveness is sin, all right? And these are all very important factors in our, as a prayer, uh, uh, in a prayer.